up and you're gone. I'm sure you were. Well, it's funny, I always thought that I was the asshole in this family, but it turns out it was you all along. Well, trust me, you're still the asshole. It's like they've never heard of Rosé. I know that you and I have had our differences. And so I can understand why you would want to hurt me. But what I don't understand is how could you do this to Danny? Need I remind you that you tried to have him killed on two separate occasions? That's when I thought he was an imposter who was going to burn down everything we built. I was wrong. Not only about the imposter part. The truth is, he did light it all up. They exposed your bullshit. Dad's lies, the hand. Got me shot. Dad killed. Danny didn't do any of that purposefully or with malice. And that makes it OK. How can he come into my life, level it to the ground, and then walk away believing he's a hero? You want to blame someone, blame the hand. Blame Dad. Blame me. Oh, I do blame you, Ward. I don't need to trip you up. You'll fall and burn just fine on your own. I know that you suffered. I'm sorry that you had to lose Dad all over again. I am sorry that you got shot. Well, thank God I got shot. Ward, I was living in a cave, watching shadows on the wall. My entire life has been a lie because of you. So I'm glad Danny came back. I am. He opened my eyes to who he is, to who you have always been. But most importantly, to who I need to be. And who is that? Somebody who allies herself with a murdering psychopath? No. What's your thing? You try to say you were protecting me from goddess. I was protecting you! I believe it for the first six months. How about the next 12 years? The way that you remember Harold is not who he was. He would fly into these rages, and the things that he would say to me, the things that he would do to me. He was a little tough on his protege. Built his character, right? I was his punching bag, and not metaphorically. That time that I, I broke my arm skiing, the time that I, uh, I got into that car accident, and I was all covered with bruises, you have no idea what I spared you from. There were so many times that I wanted to tell you I would literally pack a bag, buy plane tickets, get in a car, drive to your place thinking, how am I going to tell you that we need to run away and start over? But you didn't do it. And now we're here. <laughs> 